ever felt overwhelmed with routing? From the lengthy vanilla PHP setups to the chained methods of ExpressJS, and even the detailed configurations of Zen system, it can all feel like a maze. But here's where Laravel shines. Look at this. Well, this is simple enough, right? <laughs> So first thing first, uh, I'm assuming that you already have uh, PHP installed in your environment. Uh, I'm using PHP 8.2 in my environment. And I also assume that you have a PHP Composer application installed and available in your terminal. Now in your terminal, we'll use Composer to install Laravel. So let's go there and type. Composer, create project, Laravel, Laravel, which is Laravel's namespace, and Laravel 1. That's how we're going to call our little project here. And as soon as I type enter, it will install Laravel and all of its dependencies. There it is. So now, I have a small Laravel application installed in this directory called Laravel-1. So let's dive a little into what MVC is and how it works in Laravel. So uh, if you didn't have heard of MVC yet, this is your opportunity. Uh, it stands for Module View Controller. First, Module. In Laravel, this represents the data Think of it as the bridge to your database. It manages data, logic, and rules. Next, the view. This is what you see in the user interface. In Laravel, this is where you craft your HTML and present data from the model. Lastly, the controller. Think of it as the manager. It handles the user's input, processes it with the help of the, of the model, and then displays the appropriate view. In action, when you interact with the Laravel app, the controller decides what data to grab using the model and which view to display it on. Together, these three components create a smooth and organized workflow. This is the MVC pattern. Going back to our terminal, let's see uh, about routing. The magic of Lar Laravel begins with the routing. Uh, it determines how applications URL correspond to specific actions or views. To understand this uh, practically, uh, let's open the routes web.php file. So here, uh, when you go to this route here in your browser, once you have your Laravel application running, uh, what you see is the welcome page. And Laravel comes with the uh, PHP server uh, as uh, an artisan command so let's go there and php artisan serve and this will run uh, a server in the machine to serve this application uh, uh, an important consideration is that some applications and some libraries they they won't work well uh, with the server so be alerted about that but the majority of them do uh, for development purpose, it works fine. Uh, don't use it in production. So let's go in our browser and visit the 8000 port of localhost. And there it is. There is our application. So the first thing uh, we are going to do is we are going to add our new route so we can understand how it works. So here's uh, what it logged about our visit to that page in the browser. So let's go there and write our new route. So I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to say hello. And I'm just going to return a text. Hello world. And let's now visit our page slash hello. As if you noticed, this is the URL. 
and type enter. There it is. Hello world. That's it. Um, you just set up a basic Laravel application and created your first route.